So this is another wall that dodges the bullet. There's an LED right there. This is obviously not turned on. This is a series of blue LEDs I tried to mix in to give a different tone. And right now these LEDs go a really nice blue on the back wall. But these blue LEDs, in addition to those, these white LEDs, make it look more pinkish mauve. So that just wasn't working out. So they're still in here, but they're not plugged into anything. And even if they were, it's still a really nice fit on this LED right here. No problems. There is an exposed lead right there, which I can definitely take care of, no issue. And that's a little tight in here for exposed lead, so I'll probably cover that up. And then uh, this should be fine here as well. Whereas on this side, I brought the wires across the top. I think I'm going to bring the wires down here. And then from here, I'll run the power over to this side. These wires are just going to get well, I don't know if I'll be gluing these specifically to this area or I'll just let the pressure of the floor knock them down so it looks more like ceiling cable kind of things. We'll see about that. So where are my other LEDs? So there's a little bit of a tight fit. What I have to be concerned about apparently is these wires crossing over the LEDs that are already there because these are required to make a really nice even effect on the uh, freezer bay walls. And my fourth LED went to here. So I want to bend these a little but definitely don't want to bend them too much. They are relatively frail but having the heat shrink wrapped around there plus the extra bit of wire gives them a little more stability than they might have otherwise so I'm feeling good about this right here so in this case we'll bring the heat shrink way up alright so those are all set now And again, we'll reposition them. And this is where it's going to go. A little further out than I thought it might have been. That's okay. And then these two will run nicely right across there and power up right here. But I can't glue this part down until the uh, inner door is glued in place. So now this just leaves uh, getting more brass for all the pipes for the two bays that I've now done. I have to, oh that's too bad that came loose. That's about right where it was. So I've got some brass cutting to do and some gluing into wells here. These have to be painted. I'm thinking about doing some kind of greebly or something, something to add some detail to that. It's just simply too plain. Whether that's accurate or not, I think that I uh, could definitely use something. So I'll be doing that. Got to wire up all of these with their leads and heat shrink all that and then put them in place once that's going that won't be too bad I might just do it now we'll see 
It's a lot of wire stripping. But I'm thinking that is it for this basic session of the build. I think that gives you a good overview of how to put this amount of lights in overall as far as where everything goes, keeping your cables relatively clean. And I know this is definitely some organized chaos going on, but relatively speaking, this is all fairly clear and straightforward, apart from all the random stuff that isn't plugged in yet. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this installment. So, uh, I'll be, yeah, I pretty much got to do all these other LEDs for the bays now because I've got the computer wall in front of me, which is going to be another 50 LEDs. So, uh, that's going to be a lot of work. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See ya. So, here is a particular circumstance. The tube is blocking one of the LEDs and I had to rotate it the other way to uh, get out of the way of the pipe. So what I could do is two options. One is to try and pull the wiring up as is and simply move the LED. And if that fails then what I'll do is just wire a new one in once these tubes are all set in place. And I'll leave that one that's there now just as a reminder that uh, it needs to be done. But right now I'm going to go ahead and install all the uh, fluorescent green lights onto uh, both sides. And this side should present an interesting situation just based on this LED could be in the way as well. So we'll see how that goes in a second. But if it is, it'll be the same thing. I'll just pull it up and uh, maneuver it around. And here they are maneuvered just slightly into place. I didn't glue them down so strongly that they couldn't simply be pulled up. So uh, that's all there was to that. And this one here, well they're both at risk now simply because they're not glued down of snapping. I'm more suspicious about this one snapping though than that one. And I'm going to make this model so it can be pulled apart. But really the less often you have to, the better. So I'm just going to lay these out and I'll catch up with you probably with uh, the computer wall sitting right there. There's going to be a lot of wiring for that. So uh, thanks for watching. See ya. And here's a look at the bottom deck. I think this is pretty much, no it's not quite fully wired. I want to put a couple of slow RGB flashers in the center area there to simulate lights going on and off. I may hook up capacitors to them directly. I'll see if that can give me different blink rates, at least insofar as how I'm thinking it'll work. And I may do... While I've got the eight LEDs here on the sides of the landing bay, I'm thinking about doing one light shining down. However, this surface here is directly attached to the floor above so I would have to do that last and drill straight through both or uh, I could definitely try and angle one coming in here but I'd rather have the light shining straight down and hidden so uh, we'll see how that goes but that's for a little later I got some trimming down of wires to do here make that a lot nicer looking I just wanted to make sure all the LEDs are firing and indeed they are at this point so I'm gonna let these run for a while uh, just to burn the system in the yellow and the other whites have been here for a while and they've been burned in so we'll see if any of those give out as well over the next 24 to 50 hours or so so I'm gonna start up on the computer wall next and let's see how that goes <laughs> 